Hi, it's Kofi here. Here to answer just one question. Should you buy the Firefly X Lite FPV camera? It's a 4K 60 frames per second, 34 gram lightweight camera, which you can just slap onto your FPV drone and fly and capture some cinematic shot. These are the things I like about the camera and these are what I don't find to be interesting or it wasn't really helpful to me. So first of all, it's lightweight, which is great allows you to fly longer, no weight on your quad. You can put it on smaller quads as well. The packaging comes with easy connection. So they have this USB-C cable that you can connect to your balance lead, which is on your battery and easily power it. It has reverse polarity um, safety measure. So if you are to flip it, you're not gonna blow your camera into pieces, unlike the SMO 4K, which comes with some soldering, whatever. This out of the box is amazing. It comes with some cables, which you can use to connect and copy files from the storage. It has a case, which you can use to mount easily as well. All of that comes in the box and this is great. And then the price is great as well. Just depend on where you buy it from, it's selling for 120-ish to 150-ish dollars. Compared to a GoPro, let's say Hero 8 naked, this is cheap. On the other side, the video quality is not that great, of course. For a 150-ish dollar camera, you shouldn't expect a GoPro-like video quality, but depending on your use case, this is perfect. You can, you can push yourself a little bit without having to worry about, you know, losing an expensive camera but then you're gonna get some great shots as well. The other thing too has to do with the inbuilt stabilization. You can use the gyro stabilization for I think up to 2.7K of video quality. Anything above that, you will get your CSV file, which is the gyro data, and then you would have to stabilize it elsewhere using something like gyro flow, which works amazing. You can find a video to watch my get started with gyro flow 1.0, the release candidate that came out recently to learn how to stabilize your Firefly footages as well. But the quality is not great, but I've shot a ton of videos with it and you can find them on FPV Africa. You can find a link in the description to go and watch it as well. The quality is not the best, but it is viewable it is shareable and if you are to increase the bit rate a bit more high to the highest possible you should get some great videos out of it is it something worth buying yeah i think for the price point it is worth it one thing you should keep in mind is the chances of you getting a quality firefly x light fpv to buy on aliexpress there are a ton of different options different prices which one is the best you never know getting the right one can be a tricky thing also getting part, uh, replacement parts is something that you might not get the best possible in my case the camera crashed the drone crashed camera got damaged i tried replacing the wi-fi model of it which is a good thing when it comes to repair and replacing things on the firefly x but the the replacements part that came were not in good shape and the camera didn't work as expected these are some of the things you should keep in mind when it comes to repairing this firefly x but as a whole, would I recommend? Yes, I definitely recommend. And depending on what your use case are, it's going to work great for you. It doesn't have the best of low light quality. It doesn't have the best of video quality when it comes to dynamic ranges, but it's usable and you can get some pretty good shots out of it. So that's my review of it. I started using it uh, some time ago, about more than six months now, but it's now time that I want to talk about it and give my honest opinion. That's it for me. Thanks for joining me in this one and hope to talk to you in the next. Bye.